Please welcome the very well turned out Mr. Jimmy Carr. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Are you well? Yes. Marvellous. Someone came up to me outside and went, I thought you'd be younger. I said I was. I was in a hotel having breakfast. The waiter came down. He went, he went, do you want white or brown toast? I said, all toast is brown. You're thinking of bread. I'll tell you what I know about dwarves. Very little. I can say that, they look up to me. <laughs> um, I've got a question for you, ladies and gentlemen. Just everyone answer this. Does anyone in this room believe in the supernatural? Ghosts and spirits and the like? Anyone? Yes. It's actually easy to tell if your house is haunted. It isn't. <laughs> Grow up. <laughs> a lot of people, maybe some of you, a lot of people text whilst driving. I'm not excusing it, but we've all done things we regret when we're drunk. <laughs> we have all done things we regret when we're drunk. Some of you may be with one of them this evening. <laughs> Don't give her a nudge. <laughs> My girlfriend bought a t-shirt for 80 pounds. That's a ridiculous amount to spend on a t-shirt, would you agree? Great. £80 for a t-shirt. It said D and G on the front. I suppose, fair enough, one of her boobs is bigger than the other. <laughs> Ten percent of women have cried in a shop changing room. I guess they weren't expecting to see me there. I saw a transvestite in a miniskirt. I thought, that shows a lot of balls. My girlfriend always wants to stay in on a Sunday night and watch Downton Abbey, but I want to go out and get a new girlfriend. <laughs> I thought it'd be okay for me to have sex with other women because my girlfriend and I were on a break, but apparently I ruined that weekend at Centre Parks. <laughs> it's a great feeling when you get a woman you've been chasing for miles. For me, I don't know about you, but for me, I think the most important thing in a relationship is trust. Trust. Because if you're with a woman and you don't 100% trust her, how do you know she isn't going to tell your wife? <laughs> if my grandmother knew how much I spent on her funeral, she would be spinning in her ditch. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I don't like celebrities that are only famous because of who their parents are like Callum Pest and Peaches Geldof and Jesus. <laughs> Not you, obviously. <laughs> My granddad always used to insist on standing up whenever a woman entered the room, which is ultimately what led to him losing his disability living allowance. <laughs> I was in the high street near where I live. I saw a guy with a guide dog and a white stick. I went up to him, I went, you must be blind. He said, tell me something I don't know. I said, there's a tree over there. I would think about adoption. I don't have kids, but if I had kids, I think I would have them adopted. People criticize Madonna, but the kid she adopted, fair trade. Like a panto now, I'm loving it. <laughs> Sometimes after the show, if I buy a young lady a drink, uh, they get the wrong idea. She thinks I'm just a nice guy buying her a drink. <laughs> no, no, no. Actually, every night after the show, I have attractive women banging on my dressing room door, and sometimes I let them out. <laughs> well, I'm sure you'll agree that is quite enough for me. I've been Jimmy Carr. Thank you very much indeed for having me.
Now it's become a tradition on the